The Buffalo Catholic Diocese says it has paid out more than $17.5 million so far to victims of clergy abuse. According to the diocese, 106 people have settled with the church through the Independent Reconciliation and Compensation Program. Another award was accepted, but has not yet been paid. And there are still 17 others who turned down the offers from the diocese and three more that are still pending. That means the total payments could go over $18 million. Still other cases could go to court when a one-year window for older abuse claims opens up in August as part of the Child Victims Act. We have some new information now on the accident early Sunday morning that killed three people in Wyoming County. 20-year-old Richard Sawicki of Lackawanna has been charged with aggravated vehicular homicide, DWI, and reckless driving after police say he failed to stop at a stop sign and smashed into an SUV carrying a family of nine from New Jersey heading to Niagara Falls. Three people inside that car died, including a four-year-old girl. Today, the Wyoming County Sheriff's Department says they believe Sawicki was coming from a party. They say they also believe they know where he got the alcohol. Today, the sheriff made a point to note that the fact that Sawicki's father is a Lackawanna police officer is not impacting their investigation. And Governor Cuomo said today he plans to seek a fourth term in office. During a radio interview, Cuomo said that he believes he's making a difference in New York and plans to run again in 2022. If Cuomo is reelected, he would be the second person to win a fourth four-year term as New York governor. Nelson Rockefeller is the only other. Cuomo's father, the late Mario Cuomo, lost his bid for a fourth term. And fun state history fact, New York's longest serving governor was also its first, George Clinton. He served seven three-year terms.